U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres has responded to an Israel Defense Forces airstrike that killed 78 workers in Gaza, calling it devastating. Amid widespread condemnation from the international community, the Israeli Prime Minister called the attack a mistake. Ian Jin reports. On Tuesday, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres called an Israel Defense Forces attack that killed seven aid workers the day before unconscionable and devastating, while world leaders have also asked Israel to explain its action. The devastating Israeli airstrikes that killed World Central Kitchen personnel yesterday bring the number of aid workers killed in this conflict to 196 including more than 175 members of our own UN staff. This is unconscionable, but it is an inevitable result of the way the war is being conducted. The World Central Kitchen confirmed on Tuesday that seven of its team members traveling in a deconflicted zone in Gaza were killed. They were in two armored vehicles with the WCK logo visible and an additional vehicle. The strike killed a Palestinian man, as well as citizens of Australia, Britain and Poland, and a dual citizen of the United States and Canada. The aid charity WCK immediately suspended operations at 68 community kitchens where food was being distributed in Gaza. Guterres also said the attack was yet more evidence of the need for a ceasefire. It demonstrates yet again the urgent need for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire, the unconditional release of all hostages, and the expansion of humanitarian aid into Gaza, as the Security Council demanded in its resolution last week. The resolution must be implemented without delay. Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called the airstrike a mistake, while the Israeli military pledged to conduct an investigation into the incident. Some of Israel's closest allies, including the United States, condemned the attack, with U.S. President Joe Biden saying that it demonstrated that Israel was not doing enough to protect civilians. Ian Zin, Arirang News.